Hello everyone, this is going to be a follow-up video to one of my older uploads, a shulker box unloader, which <clears throat> it does pretty much exactly what you'd think. Uh, I had a pretty simple design where it just unloaded the shulker box, pushed all the empty shulker boxes into here, and then all of the items from the shulker box went into a different chest. And it worked completely fine except for one thing. Uh, it, had, it didn't have any clock running on it like I've added here. It simply broke whenever you put in empty shulker boxes. So I guess I'll start by demonstrating what happens when you put in empty shulker boxes. It simply sorts through, waits the perfect amount of time. I've tried with less repeater delay, and it actually breaks at, at, uh, at some times. Uh, every once in a while, the shulker box will actually end up in this chest. Otherwise, you could actually put a faster clock on this, and I'd be excited to see what some other people could come up with, but I wasn't able to do that. So let's demonstrate this with just a few items in here, because it'll take a little bit longer, obviously. When there are detected items, it immediately shuts off the whole system. Uh, this torch, by default, powers this piston up, and you can see the circuit is not actually completed, so therefore it doesn't trigger an extra time. Uh, am I out already? Alright, let's add just two more so we can see that happening. There you go. So otherwise this would trigger a quick pulse and then it'll give the observer um, time to update and swap the block out. And also, when the dispenser is empty, it turns on this torch, which also turns off the main torch that is also powered by that converter. So it completely shuts down the whole system whenever this thing is empty and uh, whenever there are items filtering. And there's just a pretty simple concept where this hopper below the, the shulker box is almost always powered. So let's get some items in here. Uh, let's actually split it up a little bit. So let's put some unsortable, or not unsortable, but some empty shulker boxes mixed in with some full ones. And then you can see that the hopper down here is almost immediately powered. I was sure to use redstone dust with that. So you can see all of the empty shulker boxes will be pushed into the right chest. This can go wherever you want. And then your storage solution, which of course can be more than a single double chest, or even a dropper going somewhere. This will collect any item inside of the shulker box. This could be really anything at all, any item at all. I'm just using diamonds as a test here. And then my chest here is actually about to be pretty full, so let's give it some more space. Uh, the system is almost entirely flawless. Uh, I haven't ever had any issues with this at all. The only concern that might be... Um, valid is if you threw in items into the system and that's what these chests were doing in the very beginning you saw that they just um, they would sit on top of this hopper right in the middle of it so let's break through here because it's done already they would just sit right in the middle of the hopper when it's let's turn that off it would do something like this actually let's put chests in they get stuck in that hopper right there or they get pushed off into the other area which it doesn't really matter. Um, you would expect people wouldn't go ahead and be putting <laughs> normal items into this system, so it's not really meant to handle it, and I don't really consider that to be much of a flaw. But otherwise, we use this on our server, we use it in our sorting system. In fact, I designed this in an episode where I showed this. Uh, I'm not going to go and retrieve the footage, sorry, but uh, you can just trust me that I designed this for one of those episodes, but I never actually showed it as its own unique thing. So there will be a world download for this, including all this crap on the sides. I was just testing some stuff. You can mess with that if you want. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for this kind of updated video. This is a shulker box unloader that can that is 100% reliable. I've never seen it fail, and I trust it with our own uh, diamonds. So... Hope you enjoyed this little explanation, and thanks for watching.